Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! False Bound Kingdom. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be editing up our teams because we have a lot of changes to be made. Um, we are going to change Mako's team the most because he's got some new members. Sorry about this, Fiend Kraken. You've been amazing, but it's time to upgrade. Speaking of which, Karyu Shin, it might be time to upgrade on you too. Goodbye. I knew you were his Duelist Kingdom boss monster, but we're out of that time period. It's time to... It's time to change and evolve. Um, it's time for Aqua Dragon, Fortress Whale. Oh, baby. Fortress Whale, his boss monster. And of course, where's Aqua Dragon? Aqua Dragon. So now he has his official boss monster, an Aqua Dragon, which is just really strong. And of course, Octoburst are still busted, so we're going to let him keep that. Um, these monsters need some serious training, so obviously they're going to need to... You know, they're going to need some time. Um, I think I'm going to leave Taya the same. Uh, Tristan. Tristan, Tristan, Tristan. Yeah, he's fine. Fizdiz. She needs some levels. You know what? Who needs levels? Tristan's level 17. He doesn't need levels. He's fine. Um, Fizdiz level 16. I do want to evolve your stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and take out uh, Gilsha the D-Knight. Okay. Let's knock you out. And then Silverfang can stay... And maybe you could stay. Your new boss is going to be Suijin. Suijin is going to be something I need you to train for me. Ah, uh, you know what? Suijin is a spirit monster. You know what? Maybe Taya will get an upgrade. Screw it. Uh, not upgrade. Maybe it's a downgrade technically, but screw it. Yeah, I'm going to let her have all the pieces of the Gate Guardian. Because it's the right thing to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave... Mm, Dark Witch is just better. Wow. Alright, this is more of a... Th this was never... T oh, Taya monster anyway. This is more of a freaking... Uh, this was a boss mon or a monster in Kaiba's deck. Get out of here. And honestly, just remove everybody for now. We're going to switch things up. We're going to make the Dark Witch, which is up here. Yeah, Dark Witch is going to be your leader because this was her boss monster back in the day. So it makes sense. And we're going to give her a blue medicine. And she can keep that one power of nature. Then... We're going to put Songa of the Thunder, and we're going to put a uh, Suijin. Yes, yeah, Suijin. And these monsters are going to be very powerful and very great. Okay, everything looks good. They do need items, though. Here's a monster reborn, and Suijin, you're pretty weak, so I'm going to give you a red medicine. You might, Your team might need it. So yeah, I've, I've weakened Taya's team, but Taya will live with it. And then we have my Valentine, which I don't think I can change her. I don't want to change her team. Mm, Fizdiz, I might have, uh, may have made a mistake with yours. Although you could take her new strongest monster. Is there anyone here I need to... Ooh, there is Panther Warrior. But I have an idea with Panther Warrior. He's not going to be on Fizdiz's team. He's going somewhere else. Uh, Fizdiz, I don't really need you for anyone else. You could just take Taya's old monster. It's it's a pretty good card, you know. She's pretty strong, all things considered. Um, here, you can have a blue medicine just in case, and Power of Nature will not help you, but, you know, there you go. So Fizdiz's team's getting a little bit better. Uh, Taya, and I'm forced to take four people for this mission. So this mission is called Betrayed. This is one you don't really need to take many members. I'm going to bring Taya and I'm going to bring Mai because they could both use some experience. Um, Simon and Fizdis can as well. Mako and freaking T uh, Tristan and Joey are doing great. And Yugi comes on every mission, so he's bound to be strong. Um, obviously there are probably some improvements I still need to make, but those are the people I'm bringing for this mission on today's episode. So, let's go ahead and dive in. Normally I'd like to bring everybody, but we're going to save a little bit of money right now. Um, I know I like to, I, I've used the Konami code this Let's Play, but that doesn't mean I want to spam that combo every freaking episode. Bakora, this is what you wanted, isn't it? I'm here to fight you. Eh, hey, you've already lost, Yugi. I was never after you. <laughs> what? I'm going to burn Jakad and break your back of the resistance once and for all. That's the deal I made with Scott. You're too late to stop me now. Come on, try to catch me. In, well, get Imperial forces, attack, advance on Jakad. We gotta stop Bakora. He's not joking, we gotta stop him. Okay. Uh, movement is my Valentine. My Valentine to Jakad as quickly as possible. Next, Fizdiz. Take out the problem. Next, Taya. You have new monsters. Go take out the second problem. Uh, well, work on the problem. And then you do this. Okay. 
Also, I forgot to check the trader. I might need to call back Fizdiz. Nope, we're good. Okay. And then we're going to need to send backup. So, Joey, you defend base. So, Yugi, you're going to go this way. I wonder why Simon's blanked out like that. Yeah, why can't I... I can move Simon. It's just weird. Oh, wow. Fizdiz got jumped on her way over there. So, it looks like Fizdiz might need some support. Let's see what's happening. She got jumped by some decently powerful monsters. This could be a problem. Dragon Carnage on my Dragon type. Oh, no. Hold on. Holy crap. That did 400 damage. Yeah, wait a minute. There might be something to that Dragon move. Maybe it does have a special ability. All right. No healing items, no nothing. But that Dragon needs to die. Or that Dragon Killer needs to die. How dare he Dragon uh, Carnage me and my Dragon Monster. Don't you worry. You got this, Fizdiz. You got this. Your monsters are not the tankiest in the world, but they do hit pretty hard. And I know I've kind of just given you a, you know, a hodgepodge of everybody's monsters. But honestly, you don't really have an identity yet, so it's okay. It might not be okay, but I'm still doing it. So here we go. Starlight Shot will do a lot of damage, I hope. Okay, 274 is pretty good. Let's get some revenge on that dragon hater. Let's see if we can kill him off. Fighting in the mountains has given some monsters an advantage. Okay, good. He's not attacking my dragon this time. Yeah, only 300 damage on Silverfane. He did extra damage to my dragon, that's for sure. He definitely did extra. So Dragon Carnage, no joke, actually does uh, super effective damage to dragons. All right, Flaming War Sword. Here we go. Oh, my pupper's taking some big hits. He's already below half. That's not good. Um, both of these guys' attacks are going to be annoying, but honestly, I would rather get rid of Flame Swordsman. He gets more attacks than Flame Cerberus if that thing happens to survive. Looking at the battle, we have no way of really losing this. I mean, unless they crit my Silver Fang. Okay, going after my dragon again, but this time my dragon's a little tankier. Honestly, if my attacks keep doing this much damage, I don't think this guy will survive the battle. I just can't miss. Critical hits! Oh, speaking of which... Oh, wow, we're allowed to attack twice in a row with our dragon. This is revenge. Revenge for the carnage. And he lives with 18 to make me unhappy. Wasn't that just fun? Our strongest attacker is going to hit the Cerberus because screw it. We'll just let someone else hit the, the Flame Swordsman guy. Yeah, you do it. There you go. You're one of them Kaiba boy monsters. Take out this thing. Flame Swordsman dies. And Silver Fang will rip apart the Flame Cerberus. In the actual card game, this would never happen. Flame Cerberus would just destroy Sonic Wool. I mean, sorry, Silver Fang. But in this game, we get to have fun. Even the smallest of monsters have their uses after they hit, like, level 30 and get their special effects. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. And we did it. Fizdiz takes out the Pursuers. And Gyako Tuno Megami gets another attack. Silver Fang hits level 30. Heck yeah. Blackland Fire Dragon levels up high, too. That is really, really good. Silverfang must be one of our highest level monsters, honestly. Okay, blue medicine up the team. I'm honestly not paying enough attention to the map. All right, Taya, this will be a good test of your monsters because you love the spirit monsters, but I've given you a team that's a little weak, all things considered. Oh, shit. Like, Dark Chimera doesn't really scare me that much. That's like a panic monster. And I mean panic from the Duel's Kingdom, you know, series. Um, funny enough, I think they're... Yeah, no joke. I think today I'm hosting a tournament that's going to have Panic as a special guest. Oh, man. I hope people actually watch that stream today. There is going to be Panic in today's tournament. Power of Nature should buff up all of my forces, which is exactly what we want. Dark Witch will be our buffer. All right. It does work on her monster. Shit. Or their monster. All right. So, yes, they have a spirit monster in the middle there, and I'm technically buffing them by accident. Song of the Thunder. Give it to... Holy shit, critical hit. Suijin, I know you're not leveled up, but give it to him. Hydro Thunder. Because, you know, you put their two attacks together, you get Hydro Thunder. All right, he's guarding and he's guarding and she's finally going to attack. I buffed her by accident, so we're going to pay the price right now. Ooh, baby. Yep, we almost got 400 damage from that. That is paying the price. I know that guy just guarded, but I'm pretty sure we could still kill him with mid-guard Volt. There we go. Yep, just enough to break him. And Sangha, I'm going to have you deal with that Orion King, because that thing 
got buffed by us and became a problem. Yeah, that thing's really strong. Orion King is a problem. And I can't use any more buffs until after we kill it, so... This is not good. Taya's team has been countered. Fireball! Sangha, block it! No! How is Taya ever going to summon the mighty Gate Guardian without freaking... Attack... Uh, without freaking life points? Die! Alright, 360. We're getting close. Luckily, she skipped her turn, so... She hasn't gotten another attack off with that 400 damage attack. Orion King is actually the same power as Dark Witch, both 1800 beat sticks. Both tribute monsters as well, which makes them terrible. Except in Duel's Kingdom ter territory, or Duel's of the Roses territory, or Forbidden Memories territory, where they're actually really nice. Alright, let's Power of Nature again, give all our monsters a nice buff. Now that the annoying monster's gone. And now, let's see how Suijin does against this. Now that is a water, uh, that is a dragon type, so I expect it to resist. Wow, that's like right on the screen. I can see all the water. Raging Waters, that's its actual attack name. It's so cool. Thunder Point Blast! And he's almost wiped. This will be the final attack. And Taya and Fizdis both successfully take out their opponents. Problem is that they took quite a bit of damage doing so, so I'm going to need to do some heals. Taya, not so bad, but she still needs to kill one of her guys. And she used up some of her buffs. Dark Witch gets another attack. Heck yeah. But it's fine because it's all in the name of leveling up Suijin so that they're strong enough to create the Gate Guardian. Okay, let's see. Blue Medicines. Dupe and dupe. All right, she's ready to go. So I need to fall back and look at my summon skull. Oh, shit. Nice job catching up, Yugi. Not that it helps. Now get out of my way. Oh, shit. Yami Bakura. Get out of here. Who said you could be here? Okay, Taya, luckily you beat him to the building. That is the good news. I think that's what happened. Taya beat him here. Why does he get pumpkin? He just has bones as monsters. The snake here and pumpkin are bones. Reaper of the cards, that's more him. That 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 suits him, yes. That that totally suits him. In his episode, Reaper of the Cards was shown. So, of all these, the snake hair scares me the most. Let's get rid of the snake hair. Pumpkin's scary, don't get me wrong, but snake hair needs to die. I didn't see any items, so we could just focus on battle. I swear to God, Harpies are busted. They may not be that tanky, but look at how many attacks they get. Who thought this was okay? Soul Eraser. Oh, shit. Yep, that's their one weakness. They're not very tanky, so a critical hit could be problematic. Luckily, that Reaper is not very strong. He could have hit us way harder. But Pumpkin's a lot stronger. He'll probably do like 250, right? Oh, no. Okay, good, good. These uh, Bacorus is really weak. So, for some reason in this game, they're just giving Bakora freaking bones as monsters. Wait, they have Paralyzed. Oh, it's level 30. Shit, that's why I'm, gl I'm glad I attacked it. It's level 30. Holy crap. It actually gets its special effects now. So, hopefully I can kill it before it gets another one off. 65, damn it. Okay, good. Good, I got another attack off. Get out of here. All right. Now, I don't know how to cure paralysis or none of that nonsense, so I'm just going to have to live with it. Harpy's Pet Dragon is a good target. Always target Harpy's Pet Dragon for me. Harpy's Pet Dragon, well, speaking of which, why don't you tar start taking out the pumpkin? Set it ablaze. Beautiful. Man, this game actually is pretty beautiful. Playing it in HD feels good. Alright. Zombie Breath again. Here we go. That's a little painful. I know, I know, I know, Pet Dragon. I know, it's okay. It's okay, you're strong. That's a good Pet Dragon. Yeah, I don't know when it's ever going to be that Harpy Lady's turn again. Will she break out of Paralysis? Eventually, she has to. She just has to. Luckily, the rest of our team is a shit ton of attacks, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Yami Bakura, I don't know what you were thinking. Trying to take Jihad from us. Zombie breath again, you dick. She's already really low on HP. Can you not bully her? I'm letting her get a little too low, but they're out of moves. I killed Snake Hair fast enough. So we don't need to heal. We just need to kill. Well, I should heal in case someone else tries to attack the base. But seeing as Yami Bakura has already come for us, I feel pretty safe. All right. Blue medicine up our, our girl there. And how, when am I going to break out of this paralysis? My god, it's taking forever. I'm almost out of Scratch Crushers and Harpy Lady. I never thought I'd use them all. 
All right, that did half his health. Holy crap. Maybe we just don't need our other Harpy Lady. Maybe that's just not something that's necessary. That is always a possibility. All right, and this should be enough. There we go. Yami Bakura falls to freaking my Valentine. She's amazing. The enemy boss will be routed. Ooh, level 24. 25 for Harpy's Pet Dragon. Heck yeah. Everything's going my way. Now I just need to make sure I don't get jumped again. And there's an enemy trying to jump me again. I'm putting a stop to your plan right now, Bakura. Oh, and I was so close. <laughs> oh, well, at least I accomplished my first objective. The Imperial forces now know exactly where you are. I guess that's good enough. See ya, Yugi. Doesn't matter what you'll do, I still win. It's been fun, but it's time for me to return to the recesses of Bakura's mind. Can't wait to see you again. Bakura! Bakura! Hey, what am I doing here? Are you okay, Bakura? I think so. I don't remember anything after seeing that light of Scott's. I hope I didn't cause any trouble. Uh, no. Nah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Nice job, Yugi! It was a good fight! Huh? Oh, Esperoba! Yep, I'm trapped here too, although it looks like I got here after all of you. I heard that you were leading the resistance and decided to wait for you. I'd like to fight with you too. I hope that's okay, Yugi. Joey? Of course, glad to have you. Thanks for the help, Espa. We have gained our final team member in the first story. Esperoba will be joining us, everybody. A Lost Cause will be our next mission. After restoring order to Vaxi Island, Yugi and the Resistance set out to tackle the Empire again. Imperial forces across the Empire are spread thin in order to quell many revolts. Yugi sees an opportunity. Yugi decides to set up a base camp for his attack on the capital by taking over the supply base at Anchor Hill. Anchor Hill is defended by a unit of magicians led by the powerful Arcana! Oh shit, Arcana shows up! Arcana's magicians give Yugi and the Resistance one of their toughest fights yet. Just as Yugi is about to throw everything he has at the enemy to break the stalemate, he gets some unexpected news. Arcana's unit is here, and the Dark Magician has been spotted in the enemy unit. Oh shit, next episode we're dealing with Arcana, and we got a new boy, Espero! He's got level 30 Jinzo! Why does he have Cyber Swords? I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but I'm just kind of weirded out by it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you all for watching. I have a stream going on YouTube today. Please make sure to catch it. It's gonna be a fun old back- If you like this Let's Play, you'll love the stream. Because it's gonna be a Duelist Kingdom tournament with all characters including Panic. So, I'll see you all then.